The Washington Redskins are the 1983 Super Bowl champions. They beat the Miami Dolphins 27-17 behind John Riggins' record 38 carries for 166 yards. The game was scoreless when Miami struck on its second possession. Quarterback David Woodley takes the screen and finds Jimmy Cephalo streaking down the right sidelines past safety Tony Peters. Cephalo goes in untouched. It's 7-0 Miami. The teams exchanged field goals to make it 10-3 when the Washington offense got on track to tie the game. On second and 11, Joe Theismann scrambles 12 yards to put the ball down at the Miami 13. Three plays later, Theismann takes a short drop and lofts a pass over the head of cornerback Gerald Small, hitting Alvin Garrett for a 10-10 tie, but the game was not tied for very long. Miami's Fulton Walker made Super Bowl history by scampering 98 yards with the ensuing kickoff as the Dolphins grabbed a 17 to 10 advantage just 13 seconds after Garrett's TD. Walker's run was the first scored on a kickoff return in Super Bowl history. And Walker outsprints the Redskins special teams unit on the left sideline for the score 17 to 10 Miami at the half. It was 17 13 Miami in the fourth quarter when the Redskins took their first lead of the game on the longest scoring run in Super Bowl history. John Riggins, the game's most valuable player, goes off left tackle, cuts down the left sideline to put the Redskins ahead to stay. Washington added an insurance touchdown when Theismann rolls out and fires a seven yard strike to Charlie Brown in the corner of the end zone. 27 17 Redskins. And that is the way the game ended. Washington avenging their loss to Miami in Super Bowl number seven.